What is going on, everyone? Welcome to Modded Monday. My name is Mike. Today, we're going to be releasing a really cool mod showcase for you guys. If you guys haven't already been checking out the No GPS profile, then you guys are truly missing out. That thing is so much, so much fun to drive around in. And why not, of course, have the big mod featured itself here on the mod showcase? That's right. We are looking at the FLX Peterbilt 359. All right, guys, so we are in the Peterbilt dealership here in Bakersfield. As always, we have no mods on the profile, just the graphics mods that we always run and the truck mod itself. There are no wheel packs, no light packs, nothing else, no engines. This truck is going to be reviewed as exactly as it would be if you guys pick this truck up. All links to the FLX mods website will be in the description below. This truck we've been using on the no GPS profile. So figured why not give it a little showcase for you guys. Give it a little bit of an in-depth look here on the old 359. You don't really see many of these out there, but uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and take a deep dive. We are gonna hit customize configuration. I'm gonna start off with the cabins. You only have two variants. So day cab, as you see here, and the 63 inch. So there is no other sleepers. There's no 36 inch, there's no high tops, there's no, you know, nothing. You know, there's no other style sleeper on this truck. It is a little crawl through window, which is cool because that's how these trucks were. There was no such thing as a unibuilt until the 90s. But and if you don't know what a unibuilt is, that's when they had the big hole uh, between the cab and the bunk on Peterbilt and such. But pretty cool. But I kind of wish they had a little bit more bunks. You know, maybe if this is something that you guys are looking to get into and you're like, hey, man, I want a 359 with a small bunk. It's not the mod for you. Unless maybe, hey, you never know in the future. He might update it. Might add some things. But you know before you go you know know before you buy uh the day cab variant here again giving you guys a look at the day cab and we'll go ahead and look at some of these chassis here only four so you got a shorty and then you got the long lowered and just lowered i do kind of wish there was a little bit of a shorter one here but again not too shabby we can't really complain too much it's a nice little variant it's always nice to see some day cabs having some love you know, we don't have, uh, I mean, if you really guys want to have a really long, lowered, obnoxious day cab, there it is. You know, you guys have that option. Uh, six and a four, stuff like that. We're going to do a day cab variant. You guys have seen the bunk on the no GPS profile, but we're going to do a day cab today, a little bit different, but we'll show you guys a little bit of what's going on with both. Um, these are going to be the, this is also a short hood, guys, by the way. This is a short hood 359. It's not an extended hood. This is a short hood. Um, going into the motors, of course, we have a few of these engines here that he has with you. Some of the Cummins, the N14s, a whole bunch of engines, guys, you can throw in this truck. The whole list goes on. This truck, I don't believe, has all Z Mod support. So I do have the 8V92 in the no GPS profile and the 3406B from Z Mods. But I actually had to go into the open def and then edit the file to allow this truck to have that in, um, you know, the compatibility or whatnot. But it does have a ton of engines. If, you know, you are looking to have your own kind of engine in it or if you're looking to keep the stock engines here, plenty and plenty of options. Um, I guess let's throw in do 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 do. Throwing like an old KT motor. Let's put a 4, 450 KT. Good old Cummins. Transmission, same thing. In order to get the transmissions that I usually use on the cast, which is going to be all the fullers, you do have to add this truck to the cast in order to do so. But it does have basically the same transmissions here as you normally would have. Would be kind of cool if we had a 15 speed variant because there really wasn't 18 speeds in the early 60s and 70s and stuff like that. They had 15s. So it would have been cool to have the 15, but you know, again, we can't really argue back and forth on, on what we have here. You know what I mean? It's hard being a truck driver and, and starting to nick and pick, you know, all these little things, but uh, argument's sake, we'll go ahead, classic 13 speed. You know, we always doing 13s, but I feel like with a 13, you can actually hear the engine. 
and kind of get a little bit of a pull. Uh, interior is just this option right here. So we have no other changing of the interior. Uh, we'll go ahead and I'll show you guys what it looks like with the bunk in the interior. As you see here, we have the tiny cutout here to go back into the bunk. Now, if we had the Unibuil, it'd be a little bit wider here. It almost kind of looks like a Unibuil, doesn't it? But it's actually not. But a um, little crawl through here, a little sneak on in. Coffin sleeper would be a little bit more of a tinier window here, so you can kind of like dive into that bunk. Um, I don't believe the only big difference is here with the... I don't think we can take the fairings off, can we? Um, let me see. Let me see. Yeah, we can. So you can take the fairings off to have a bunk like that. But realistically, everything else with the sleeper and the day cap variant are going to be the same. So like I said, we're going to do a day cap for today's video. Uh, I know I skipped over, but we're going to go back to the paint jobs. Paint jobs are really cool, right? So the thing I love about this truck is you have this paint job here, and then you have scratched. So it's kind of hard to tell, but like when the sun hits it, you can kind of see like the different shade. He kind of makes this so it kind of looks like the truck's been used. You know, the scratch look, there's probably some scratches in the paint, stuff like that. You know, he's got a lot of different color options here. Uh, a lot of them with scratch being the opposite one. You know, you have blue lines, scratch, regular blue lines. And of course, you got your regular color, solid colors here. All the way down the whole line. Ooh. Indian red, gaboog. That looks kind of cool, doesn't it? We might do yellow. Whole bunch of, uh, oh, school bus yellow, school bus yellow. Ooh, that's kind of cool. The colors go on, guys. So many colors here with this truck. Paint with swirls, that's kind of cool. Look at that, huh? Pumpkin metallic, Prussian blue. Boys, the colors go on, and I, oh, look at that blue. United Nations blue. I mean, the colors go on. I kind of like this Prussian blue. I'm not going to lie, boys. Um, <clears throat> the cool thing about this truck, though, too, guys, um, starting up here in the front, you guys can put like a little ladder here that'll help you open up the grill or the hood. Uh, bumpers is the oversized load, of course. Cool thing here, right? You have standard aluminum. You can put rust on it. So when we walk up on it, you guys can see it's got like stuff around here. It's really kind of cool how this truck has these options. You can change them all up to make them aluminum, chrome. So if you guys are doing like a truck series or something on YouTube or your Instagram or taking some photos and you want to kind of make like a, a, a build project, like watching the truck build as the days go on and whatnot, this is really a cool truck to do it with because you guys can start out your, your series or whatnot and say like, oh man, I got an old aluminum rusty bumper. Uh, I brought it back to the shop. We polish it out. I mean, really kind of cool how you could do that. Um, this truck offers a lot of options like that. Of course, we have our big moose bumpers there, stuff like that. Um, for today's video, we'll just do a regular standard chrome. Um, <clears throat> walk slowly. Also, you can put the three plates down here too, guys, if you want to put some plates. A whole bunch of license plates. He does have all the states in here. So let's just say we put in, like, you know, our beautiful home state here of New Jersey. You could do that, and then you could walk up in on it, and you could actually spell out, you know, whatever you wanted to say on the license plate. So GGG, if you needed to put GGG, or if you wanted to put your name on it, whatever. Pretty cool how he's got that. Moving along, boys. Uh, we got the bumper flaps here, if you guys are into the bumper flaps. Some of the older trucks had the bumper flaps on them. It's kind of cool the white logo. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a really big bumper flap guy, but I'm kind of feeling that right now. Aluminum and chrome. That's going to be a lot of the options here on this truck. Uh, is going to be whether it's going to be a chrome variant or aluminum. Headlights. We're going to have the classic aluminum there. Chrome. You guys can see he changes that. Thought that was really, really kind of cool. Headlight blinker. You could actually add a blinker on this as well. I believe it's a visor, right? Yeah, add a visor. So you can really customize that light how you so wish. Um, the lights go on all the way down. You can even put some squares on it if you wanted to. Uh, the, of course, classic 359 double rounds, as everyone truly loves. Also put some visors on those as well. Might actually leave those on. It's actually looking pretty nice. Winter fronts, which is really cool, guys. A lot of the trucks back in the day, even some of them too you see today having winter fronts on. Try to keep the engine nice and cool and uh, try not to get it, uh, or warm, I should say. Not trying to keep, you know, the cold air coming in, freezing everything up. Kind of keeps it a little uh, cozy. 
some different grill options here boys again chrome aluminum all different options you can put no none you can really change it up on how you so wish this is going to be with the bars there we're going to leave it as chrome uh, again with the shroud here you can do it again paint base aluminum it's really kind of cool because like i said you can make this whole truck aluminum and then as you grow your profile and grow your company you can actually make it all like chrome it's got a lot of features for it boys uh of course our hood ornaments here the swan of course classic you do the pig the good old duck some bull horns for you bull haulers out there come on uh we'll leave the swan on it for now cool bug shields the old uh bug shields up there on the truck hood trim in the middle of the hood here so we're gonna do aluminum paint or chrome we'll do aluma gym uh this is gonna be for the side of the truck i believe right yeah you can put some like kind of like graphics around the peterbilt emblem halo indian kind of really flames old glory a visor on that as well really kind of cool how they have those options there uh i thought i could probably do it on the front one here but i guess not uh let's see what else we got here boys um of course your mirror is on the hood if you need to have that extra mirror that's interior air cleaners we can have different options here aluminum paint or chrome and of course as we walk in here we see the option for the lights these are the options he has for lights so we'll throw some water malones in there and we'll replicate it on the other side boom the breather itself you can change out if you want standard standard chrome standard chrome paint i clap i'm probably gonna go with the standard chrome paint here that is already on the truck uh door lettering again these are all labeled as well which is always nice to have fender skirt here guys if you want to put a chrome aluminum you can do that there as well you can put your little lights there if you so believe in putting them i think he's got tiger lights on this truck which i think are cool yeah he does tiger lights are the old school lights boys tiger lights are cool <laughs> Don't let anybody tell you anything different. Tiger lights are cool. They are old school, man. Moving on here to the step to the door. You guys can add some stuff here if you wish to. He does have a DEF file on the truck, so if you guys want to add any of your own custom stuff to the truck, you may do so as well. Going down, you guys can put fuel tanks under the door if you want to have those fuel tanks. Large chrome diamond, chrome. We'll do diamond plate. And I believe I have to replicate it here on the other side. I do, see? So just to give you guys a heads up, put a little bit of a bigger step there. You can put, let's go up a little bit here. Let's not get too crazy here. That's inside, windshield corner. Visors go, go like this. Not many options. Of course, it's gonna be the same idea with the standard chrome, stuff like that. We'll, uh, we'll do standard paint. Your roof lights, of course, guys, exactly what you would imagine it'd be. This truck is compatible with KSW light pack as well. If you guys have been watching the new GPS, I do have the green lights here on the end. Kind of a different look for it. Uh, a couple of different options here. This is for your interior light, the dome light. You can have red, orange, cyan. We'll do some cyan. Ooh, sky blue. We'll do sky blue. Mirrors, this is cool too. You can do damage. The mirror is actually cracked. Um, I forget which one it is, but one of the mirrors are actually cracked. It's going to be hard to see here, but in game, it's actually cracked. I thought that was a really, really cool feature that he added on this. Put your mirror turn signals there, your lollipops if you so choose to. Uh, that's going to be still for interior, sun visor, CB radio, CB cables. That's inside the truck light adapter okay exhaust so we can actually change the tips itself if you guys want to change the tip so really cool again also with the exhaust however you want it default aluminum chrome you know we'll leave them actually going like this i think uh maybe we'll do uh we'll do i guess that then you come down here uh exhaust base you can actually change the base here on how you want the exhaust to come out and then I believe we should have another option here. It's probably gonna be hidden around your turn light. Exhaust shields, here we go. So you can do the shield or you could actually do straight pipes. 
Uh, I forget exactly which one the straight pipe is. There it is, aluminum or chrome. You guys wanna do some chrome. Nothing crazy, you're not gonna find some big old Aussie stacks or anything too, too crazy here on these trucks. Um, matter of fact, I'm gonna change this back over. This is the horns. Let me see. Moving on the back of the truck, we have the spotlight here. You can do a light bar. Light bar is kind of cool. Or you can do the old school spotlight. I'm going to take both of those off. Uh, you can either get rid of the lights or that. I kind of wish you could add more of your lights to it if you wanted to, but again, can't really argue, can't choose what we want. Uh, aluminum tanks, again, that's going to be the big thing with this truck is the aluminum, the chrome, and also the damaged. You could put tank covers on this thing. It was really kind of cool. We'll put some uh, black covers on that. You guys should put it on the back as well. Again, it, that'll replicate to the other side. You guys can put some ladders here. I think we have to do it to the other side too. Yeah, so we can put some chrome ladders there. You can put train horns if you so wish. Train horns black. Uh, this is going to be our, yep, our, okay, so that's an issue too. So you see how it's like so close? That sucks. I wish we could move that back because that's very, very close. Very, very close. We could do a red frame. I wish we could move this back, but it looks like we can't. I wish it was like a little bit back here, but, eh, I mean, I, I, I do wish I could move it back. I guess I can't. That's a bummer. Uh, mud guards, which is going to be your mud flaps. You can do plastic, Aluma Gem, chrome, standard paint. You know, the list goes on. Going back up to the top, some half fenders as well. Always kind of cool to have the options there. Again, this truck was not made to be like a show truck. This truck was kind of designed to be like a work truck. You know, that's what a lot of these trucks were made to be. I'm not saying that all your show trucks are not work trucks, but back in the 80s when the 359 was a big truck, they really weren't too worried about you know the shininess of things you know they were kind of worried about can the truck go to work can it make some money can we go from there just going over some of the things up here seeing if i missed anything so there's another interior light black round we'll do light blue cabin lettering if you guys want to do some lettering on the door that's going to be under the def file as well you guys can put your own on there uh before i get back there all right so here we got the bumper you can do different style bumpers. And we each have like some T-bars up here. Can add your own lights. That's pretty cool, guys. You can add your own lights there. I'm sure flat line lights and KSW will work as well. That's a nice light there. For today, I'm going to do standard chrome. And then I click this, and that's going to be our mud flaps. Now, double checking, I put black and white up there. We'll do black and white back here. Kind of like the match, you know what I mean? uh wheels let's go with the wheels he does have his own alcoa 24s doesn't look like anything else for the yeah so everything else is going to be scs tires are going to go with that wheel smarty's wheels work jasper wheels work a whole bunch of different wheel packs i'm sure will work with the truck just so you guys are aware these are just the wheels that come with it uh we'll do chrome caps on that i guess we'll I don't know. It's standard. Uh, I think that's really going to be it for the outside. There's no... Um, I don't believe there is a... Underneath here. Under the cab. I don't know why I'm losing what I was trying to say there. Keys that's inside. Adapters inside. Light adapter, cables, okay. Oh, we can put a CB antenna here on the top. Well, we will do that. A little straight CB antenna. All right, let's go inside the truck here and see what we got. We're over to 211,000, Jesus Lord. So you can change a whole bunch of stuff in here. So you could put, of course, your pull. We'll do, let's do violet. I think we could take out the visors too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so you could have the visors up, blue, take them out. I know some guys that take them out because when they have the actual drop visor, you will not probably need to ever lower them down unless you put something in there. But we'll put blue, hanging items. You can put whatever you guys wish. We can put, I don't know, USA flag. 
Our cable here is going to be for the CB, which is in our head or back over there. We'll go back by our head. Can also change the color here of the roof. I just don't remember where. Standard speaker or with the cover. Um, I believe it's going to be one of these panels. We can change the door panel to blue. We have a blue truck. There we go. Changes that to blue. So now we have the interior like blue. Armrest, we could do the grab handle. Any color, we'll do blue again. Our big old steering wheel, big old ivory wheel there, boys. I believe we can change the shift knob too. Yeah, we can shift the shift knob. A whole bunch of different options there. Floor mats, we can do carpet. The floor itself, we can do carpet. Put a cardboard box. We could do blue seats as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, there's the blue seats. Blue. We could paint the da dash. We can do chrome there. We could do the chrome air vents, or we could do blue. But we could do chrome. Dash kit honor. We can add keys to it. I think the keys are a cool feature to add. We could do add guide poles if you want to add guide poles, by the way, guys. Um, air filters. Where's the dash option? Here we go. So you can do beige, blue, you can even paint it blue, paint it white. Standard. We're gonna go with the uh, standard look on it. Dashboard, you can change the dash. Oh, cool, I didn't know that. I had no idea you could change the dashboard. We gotta go back and that no GPS point. Let's see if we can actually change the dashboard. It's pretty cool, I didn't know you could do that. Gotta add a cowboy head there, yeehaw. Or me. Little bunch of little dorky things we could add. Uh, floor mats again. We'll throw those back in there. We'll put the rubber mats on. This has been the interior light. I'm going to assume it's down by our feet. And of course, we can do the standard old school Eaton Fuller. Or we can do the blue as we selected. But that is going to be the truck, boys. So it's not going to be as long and as in depth, obviously, as the previous ones. Obviously, this truck is a more affordable truck it's on the lower end tier of the prices of some of these paid mods again this is also showing you guys what to expect when you buy the truck and what to look for a lot of these mods too is going to be what you pay is what you get you know if you're looking to try to get a lot more in depth like a rolling truck you're not going to be able to spend 10 to 20 30 dollars on a truck mod and get what you get for rolling however the way this truck is i love this truck i think this truck is fantastic I use this truck all the time. I think this truck has got a lot of potential. Uh, I love rolling around in the 359. It's one of my favorite things to do. Let's, uh... I just minimized my game. All right, so I just minimized my game by accident. But um, yeah, guys, like I said, I love using this truck all the time. It's one of my all-time favorite truck mods. Let's fire this thing up, though. Good old KT. Before we continue driving, I just want to make sure that we are actually in 13-speed uh, mode because we were not in 13-speed mode when we were trucking around the other day. Oh, okay, we are at 13 speed mode. Okay. Oh, well, we're gonna get back into the seat here, boys. You know the drill. We're gonna go for a little quick ride down the road. Show you what this thing looks like at early hours here. All lit up. Again, a lot of potential with this truck. If you want to mess with some DEF files for the sounds, you want to mess with the uh, tire packs on here to get some really nice wheels on it. We threw the train horns on on the side here, but obviously the train horns are not 
working. So they are just for show. A couple of the gauges there in the truck work. Four-way pulls out there, which I think is really cool. And then, of course, all of our other switches there. Shake brake switch doesn't come on. Brakes pull out. See underneath the wheel, there's our blinkers as well. All right, boys, let's go for a quick ride. See how this old KT engine sounds. We can air her down. And then air her back up. something like slab jerry's or z mod or preachy bomb you're obviously going to get the same sounds off of those engines that you would in any other truck but it is just something to consider you guys wanted a little bit something different in the truck what am i driving this truck in real life boys this thing's all nice and cozy i like sitting in a cozy truck like this I like the visor roll low, like, you know, it's not crazy low, but low enough. We got our CB radio swanging. Letting this KT motor lug a little bit. Make sure he knows we're coming. driving this truck boys I like I said I use it in the no GPS profile I'm actually gonna be editing one of those videos today so be on the lookout for the release this week of that video this I, I, I'm a big I'm an old-school trucker guys you know I love my old a model Kenworth my old 359s even a 351 a 521 Kenworth old an old Mac R model you know I, I love the old trucks I like the old metal you know not all that plastic but, uh, boys, let's uh, get this thing out on the old highway here. Got a little bit of traffic coming our way. Let's not hit the uh, dumper in front of us. You guys couldn't even hear the jake break. Pretty much just hear the other traffic. So, like I said, the engine sounds on this truck are extremely quiet. Uh, we were really lugging it there. But, um, again... You could also add the engine sounds that you wish to the truck. Like I said, in the GPS profile we're running, we run the 3406B motor by Zmods. But I don't want to leave anything out, guys. I don't want you guys to think you can go get this truck and then have all these epic, epic things that you might see on some people's builds. I want you to see what the truck is and for what you get out of it. But here's a lot of the uh, crossing by traffic. We lower them down a little bit. What do you guys say? This traffic is uh, amazing world sounds. Jesus, old in heaven. All right, boys. Maybe that was our engine that was so loud. Holy Hannah, huh? Guys, listen. This is the FLX 359 Peterbilt. 
Love the truck. It is a unique truck. There goes a big... Big old Peterbilt going down the road there, boys. I'm going to show you guys, too, what this thing looks like at night. We'll uh, throw the clock a little darker. Throw that interior light on so you guys can see what that blue looks like inside. Nice, nice little blue in here. Too subtle. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Guys can see what it looks like there with the gauges off. We have a red light in ours. We'll throw the accessories on. You guys can see the high beams as well. Really subtle light. But, uh, yeah, guys, let me know down in the description what you guys think about the old 359er. And uh, let me also know, guys, what you guys want to see next. We have just hit, of course, the big 1,000 subs. We had the uh, sub stream giveaway, whatever you would like to call it, the 1K sub stream on Saturday. It was awesome. Congratulations to those guys who won some DLCs. Cannot wait to give back to more of you guys the more we grow. It's been an awesome journey so far. We are going to take this all the way up to the moon, man. We are going to keep rolling. We're going to keep in, keep putting the hammer down. And uh, we're going to enjoy trucking as we go through it. But again, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up. Give this a subscribe. Hit those alerts so you know when we're going live or when a new video comes out. And uh, again, let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about the 359. Is it worth it for you? Is it not? Let me know. Also, let me know, too, what you guys want to see next week on Modded Mondays for the Mod Showcase. My name is Mike. I will catch you guys in the next one, and make sure to keep the hammer down.